This video is brought to you by my awesome sponsors. Make sure to check out the affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for all the support. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Grand Turismo 7's... I forget what we're doing already. Welcome to Grand Turismo 7's License Center. Particularly, we're finally doing S9 in the uh, Super License section. So, word of warning, a couple of weeks ago, I was going through the circuit experience and I was playing as the Audi R8 2018 Evo or something like that. I deserve this. <laughs> And I was actually playing the Deep Forest racetrack, and I got, I think I actually beat the circuit experience after about like 100 tries. And then like immediately afterwards, I came back to uh, the S9 Super License test with the Nissan GTR GT500, particularly the 2008 model, and like immediately set a silver trophy. So that being said, again, that was a couple of weeks ago, and already I am feeling like I am not doing all that well. <laughs> so we'll see how much I actually remember. I remember that you're able to do some cheeky stuff here where like, you're able to just barely let off. Then do a little break here. Come back here. It's not what I was looking for. <laughs> Do not text and drive, everyone. <laughs> uh, I remember that I actually did have a lower traction control. So that's for all you commenters out there that keep on telling me constantly to lower my traction control until I probably uh, oversteer into a wall. So we'll see if that actually helps any. I know that many cars that I've done before or driven before have a uh, understeer problem and honestly I do feel like that the attraction control has something to do with it remember this was kind of a coast and then we kind of come back into it there we go and then we'll break a little bit kind of coast here put the power back down and it was like breaking there at the bridge line Seems like it braked early there. That was kind of odd. I wish I could turn on my headlights, but I kind of like how realistic it is where as you go into a tunnel, your eyes kind of slowly adjust to the darkness and, and start picking up the details a little bit later. It's a little bit difficult when you're trying to drive through it. Oh, did I break late? Oh, I might have broken early. Look at that. So I've been trying to figure out with a lot of those slower corners if it's worth going into first gear or not. Because like, as, if you come out of those corners in first gear, you seem to have a little bit more traction. Oh, it's not bad. Hmm. Seem to have a little bit more traction, but it seems like you're going slower, but you're able to punch into the acceleration a little bit better. But you're already at speed when you're in like second gear. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about these days. Oh, I got to set the traction control every time? Shoot. <laughs> oh, that was not fast at all. Not fast. So we're going to go over here. I think I remember, yeah, you can just dab the brakes a little bit, kind of coast, down to third, down to second. Uh, I got to get off the grass. Go up to third, and then, like, you kind of... I remember with the Audi R8, you kind of coasted through that part. But I think they're both, both this car and the Audi are. Oh, why did I break there? Oh, both of these cars are GT3 cars, so I feel like that they're close-ish in like breaking zones and performance and all the rest of that. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that kind of translates over a little bit better than I was thinking. So I feel like we're about the same distance we were before on the AIA. I also remember we were breaking about here. I'm going to go down to first gear here. No really big difference there. Kind of duck in there. Like I said, 
Yeah, we might be a little bit close. We'll see. No, we're not close enough to gold, though. We are making some improvements. A 126.129 is better than a 126 point something. No, it's not bad. Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> so I'll immediately start by turning down the traction control just a little bit. Oh, I broke a little bit early to them. I had to dab the brakes a little bit. Ah, that's not good enough. Had to dab the brakes a little bit there because I was uh, starting to understeer a little bit. I think I put the power on a little bit too soon there. So I'll break right about here. Okay. There we go. They didn't even break. Wow. Get out of the grass, you idiot. There we go. <laughs> yeah, just a tiny bit. This is pretty good. I think they, like, just touched the brakes up there. This is a pretty decent run. I don't know if it's... I hope it's not gold already because that'll make for a very short video. It'll remind me of the, uh, what was that? Shelby GT500 or something? It was on Trial Mountain, I want to see it was. I think it broke a little bit early there. I remember that video. I did it in like four tries. I'm like, no wonder why all the streamers and YouTubers were talking about this being just like easier than all hell when it comes to beating the gold trophies on the uh, license tests. <laughs> ah, we're close. Oh, that was good, though. Did not realize that we're less than a tenth away. Jeez. So, uh, yeah, turning down traction control seems to help because when you have the traction control up, especially with this car by the looks of it, just seems to understeer Horribly, and I'm not even catching. Oh, bummer. That was kind of a bad exit. I'm not even catching that much of um, not that much oversteer by the looks of it. Oh, there we go. I wonder if they stayed in third gear through all of that, pulling away just slightly. So I don't know. carry too much speed through that. That's going to cost me dearly. Goodbye, gold. Goodbye. <laughs> At least I can recognize where my mistakes are. I don't feel like I'm like completely in the zone because I'm commentating and stuff. Uh, but at the same time, too, for what it's worth, I'm actually doing quite nicely. I think I got a little bit of motor memory from that circuit experience with the Audi R8. Which, to be fair, that being said, I like this track. Guess I remember one of the earlier license tests you were doing it with a, like a Renault Megan race car. But uh, I have a pure hatred for the Audi R8 Evo. Because I understeered like nobody's business. And I think it was because they had traction control on. So there again, it was probably my own fault. But my... Uh, Memories are still with me. I still hate that car. <laughs> Come on out of that. Nice. So they are like lifting off. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, they broke at the beginning of the corner. I like dap the brakes right in the middle of it so again that's probably going to cost me dearly I'm going to tap the brakes there they seem to tap the brakes part way down the hill this is pretty good yeah I feel like this is entirely muscle memory that's returning to this point because I don't know why I know where these braking points are where these gear changes are I just like my body's like Oh, it's this track again? Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, second gear. That might hurt. You're still fairly close. So if this somehow, someway is the goal at all, I think I'll go back and try again with the uh, first gear in that corner and see if I make any improvements. Oh, it is. Oh, it was close. It felt close. Huh. Can I, can I do it one more time? One more time? <laughs> If this is gold, I'm going to be angry. Good. That sucked. <laughs> that does not deserve to be a gold after the shenanigans that that lap was. Now I just want to see if I can improve on my time a little bit. Because I know this is the second gear after what we discussed earlier. Yeah, that's good. Let's not hold on to dear life. Oh, that was wide. Kind of coast. Put the power back on. I mean, that last corner was a little bit sketch. Oh, I forgot where we were. I forgot where we were. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that was traumatizing. I had several PTSD flashbacks from when I was recently on the Audi R8. I guarantee you that at least 30 attempts or more were failed right at that last corner because they couldn't figure out how to go downhill and coast. There we go. We finally broke a little bit late enough that we didn't have to run over the bumps. There we go. I don't think it's better than a 124.35. <laughs> if you guys can tell, my guessing game is garbage. So, <sighs> one more time, one more time. And nope. So 124.244 is your final time. Look at that. Originally, I really didn't like this track because of the Audi R8. I think you just need to have a good car because this was phenomenal with the Nissan GTR. That was really good fun. Because that part there was scarier than hell because you don't break and you just barely coast. You just whip it back and you hang on for dear life. That spot's just weird. Because it could be second, it could be third. It's probably second in the higher RPM. Hmm. And then that that hill is... Oh, God. Oh, look at that. One more. Why my hands are weird? Well, that is the uh, S9 of Gran Turismo 7 Super License Test. A 124.244. We beat our gold medal time by less than two tenths, which is still be still beating the time regardless. But if you enjoyed this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Next week, I'm trying to remember what we have. I'm going to start doing lap guides of, vari tra of various tracks in Gran Turismo 7, but probably not in the ways that you're expecting, so please stay tuned for that. I think you guys will enjoy it. Time after that, I think I'm finally reviewing the PlayStation Remote Play and how it performs on the PC, on the Steam Deck, and on the phone. So, of course, really stay tuned for that stuff as well. So, again, if you like, enjoyed this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. we got a lot of fun stuff coming on up. But again, uh, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.